Good morning. It is Saturday morning about 9 a.m. I've been up for about an hour. I got up very late this morning. And I went to bed early late, er, early last night. About 10, 15, I think, I was in bed and snoring. I was so exhausted. I couldn't even do any reading yesterday. I felt bad about it, too, because I wanted to at least get one chapter in, but I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it, you know? I hate this eyebrow. I wish that I could do something for it. But see, what happened was, as a kid, I got hurt right here. And that is also where I squint. So the scar never let that hair grow back very good. And then that's where I also make it. See, so really, this eyebrow should be from there. There's nothing I can do about it now. I'm too old. I might be able to tattoo it, but I don't think I would do that because it would never match or turn blue or look stupid or whatever. But anyway, I have lunch here today, but I tell you, I don't know. This is how I look when I get up in the morning, just exactly here it is. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I see people look a lot worse off than I do in the morning. Anyway, um, I don't know what I'm going to do today, but I definitely am going to get a few chapters read. Um, after I wake up a little bit, I will try to get a few done. I need to work on my fruits down today, but I have signs out, and I haven't had anybody even stop think about making one, putting it down on the corner. But I don't want to get in trouble for um, doing that. But I do have a business license for my ranch, so I think that I can get away with it. <coughs> so, <coughs> you know, Dog is sleeping. Taco. 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 Hey, Taco. I want to show you the people. Taco. He's so cute. He is my little pal, too. I, I mean, he waits for me by the door if I leave. He cries for me. He has learned that when I whistle pretty loud outside, he will come from anywhere that I am at, or anywhere he's at, and come looking for me. So he's learning that. And, uh, he's just a, he's just a great little joy. And I am sure that somebody has missing taco, but I don't know what to do for him. I have, like I said, reported him every place in, uh, the city. Uh, not in the city, in a little town where I found him. And, um, to everybody, and nobody seems to be looking for the guy. Now, I do not buy the newspaper there, but people generally don't put a lost and found in that little tiny newspaper. They just up sign up and the town is small enough sooner or later you're going to find it, you know, <coughs> in the grocery store or whatever. So anyway, I will be back a little bit later to do that. I am, uh, my daughter was giving me a silent treatment again this week for three or four days. Because <coughs> she called me, told me something, and when I didn't react the way she wanted me to, she hung up on me. Which pisses me off so freaking bad. I texted her back and I said, Don't ever hang up on me again in your whole life. <laughs> I mean, the girl is pushing up with me. I don't even know what to say. But I'm not going to put up with that. And I have put up with it. Well, you know, you can't stop somebody from hanging up on you. And if that is their, you know, natural mode of pissing you off, and they do it naturally. You can't stop them. But I can't put my foot down and say, well, I just won't freaking call you then. You hang up on me, bitch, and you're not going to get a phone call for a while. <laughs> anyway, she called me yesterday, and she wouldn't have. She called me because she knew my mom was up there in town. My mom had gone by there to take a shower. And uh, so she called me to find out if my mom had made it home safe. I said, I'll, call, I'll text you when she gets there. <coughs> Try to give me a little. <laughs> I didn't fall for it. I said, I'll call you, or I'll text you when she gets there, when she gets here, period. I'm so sick of it, you know. It's like, I, I, I said and figured it out the other day. So I'm like, from January till now, my daughter has given me a silent treatment for over six months during that time. And the silent treatment 
for stuff that she did. Not stuff that I did. It's not like I did it. She did it. You know, and so what she got was the cold shoulder and the silent treatment for me, which she freaking deserved. But she should have been calling and apologizing long before six months. You know? Anyway, I'm about to lose my patience with that situation. <laughs> I don't even understand that, and I don't think it's right. And, uh, you know, especially when I bend over backwards to help her as much as I can with her child and stuff. And, you know, I do whatever I can for my kids. That's just the way I am. But, you know, if they want to act like brats and ignore me, well, you won't get no assistance. I don't give a damn. It doesn't bother me. If you want to, you know, struggle for five or six months because you're too spoiled rotten to pick up the phone and tell your mom you're sorry. And she never even says she's sorry. She just starts calling again. And I'm supposed to expect accept that as, like, an apology. Well, that's not an apology. I'm still pissed off from Mark. You know, from the Disneyland deal. I am still pissed off. Every time I see somebody going to Disneyland or in Long Beach or freaking Mickey Mouse goes across the screen on my TV, I'm pissed off all over again. I I have not gotten over that deal, and I don't know if I ever am going to get over it. You know? I mean, we're packed and ready to go. Waiting to get in the car. It's not like she did that, you know, three days in advance, and I could have recouped some of it. No. She did it the day I'm ready to get in the car with the little neighbor girl waiting here. And I have not got over it yet, and I am so pissed off that my granddaughter missed, missed out on that on her birthday. That, And I'm not going to be able to do it again this March. I, there's no way. And not only that, but I don't want to take anybody with me if I take my granddaughter. I want to take my playmate for her and my mom. But I don't want to take anybody else. And I certainly don't want to take anybody I'm going to be arguing and fighting with or want to knock their head off halfway to, between here and L.A. or whatever. I just don't want to do it. And so the offer is off the table. It's never going to happen again. And I texted her that as she was telling me, cancel everything like a little brat. I can cancel everything, but I will never do this again. And that didn't mean I will never do it for Olivia. That means I will never do it for you. And that's exactly what I meant. So she probably won't even give me permission to take Olivia because I don't want to take her. Well, why would I want to take her? You know, she's already destroyed one. Couldn't even get him to go with me to um, Uncle Cliff's for the day. Why would I even bother trying to take her to Disneyland? <laughs> anyway, that's been eating on me for a couple of days, but she did call yesterday. Well, it doesn't eat on me. It really doesn't. It just irritates me that it disrupts my whole life and it upsets my husband and he didn't even know what was going on. I hadn't even told him everything because there's no sense, I mean the stuff that she told me on the phone, there's no sense in telling him all that malarkey because it's going to change in a minute and sure enough it did. You know, it's right back to the way it was that she was calling me and telling me this big old ordeal. Well, it's all back the way it was. And now she was still mad at me but the person she was mad at, she was no longer in my lap. But she's still mad at me. Because I didn't say. But without going into details, it's because I didn't agree with what she was saying. And that she had done something that I thought was that she should have known better about. And she thought it was one way and it wasn't. And I was trying to explain to her, no, it isn't that way, it's this way. You know, and she got pissed off and hung up on me and texted me a bunch of crap. And I never want to talk to you again. I'm so stupid. You can just say nothing else to me. What? Don't say. Don't say nothing else to me if that is exactly what you want. Because let me tell you, sister, I can give somebody the cold treatment for about two years. It doesn't bother. I, I can give you cold treatment for your lifetime. That doesn't bother me. That is one of the things that I am a master at. I was just turning my cheek the other way, pretending like it never happened, and you become invisible. And I don't want to have to do that to my kids, but I will. If you'd be crappy to me over and 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 over again, I will. I'll do it. It didn't bother me. 
anyway. A little rant on Saturday morning, how nice. Anyway, I will be back a little bit later. I'm going to go scrub my face and go to the store real quick and get a couple things done. And then I will be back to do some reading. All right? So thanks for listening to me rant and rave on a Saturday morning. I love you. Be blessed. Peace. And I'll holler at you in a little bit. All right? Bye-bye.